The member from the PN Carleton. Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Education. Seems you and your government got into a little food fight with uh, some students in Brampton. They're angry that you took away their choice. They're very insulted that you've taken away their responsibility. They say, ironically, quote, the only benefit to this policy is that we see the 1.5-kilometer walk to McDonald's. Also ironic is the $700,000 that is being lost in revenues to promote healthy lifestyles. Then add the minister's mixed messages that she makes that undermine her arguments to defend the government. Yesterday, she said there could be dispensation from the guidelines on certain days for certain activities. Is Order. the minister saying that pizza is allowed to be sold on Tuesday but not allowed to be sold on Wednesday? Is Tuesday's pizza healthier than Wednesday's, or do you just think it's your government's job to tell students when and Question. what to eat? Minister of Education. Well, thank you, Speaker. And I know we're doing something right in our schools when we're talking about pizza in question right. period. Speaker, we know that our kids go to school every single day to learn, to build their future, to learn how to read and write, Speaker. And we should be so proud of what is happening in on Ontario schools. I'm also proud of students who want to advocate, who want to talk about what's happening in their school and be part of building that culture and climate. And I welcome an opportunity to meet with the students. But, Speaker, our kids deserve the best start. The minister opposite is a mom as well. I know how hard I work to bake a healthy lunch every day, and we know better. When we were in school, many of us ate French fries and gravy for lunch, and we know better than that, Speaker. Let's build a, a good education system. And let's make sure our children's stomachs help their minds so that they can learn. Well. Supplementary. The minister just told all those kids in Brampton that the government knows better. She should listen to those students in Brampton. They're not opposed to a healthy lifestyle or health promotion. They are opposed to choice suppression. They're using their minds too bad that government left it at the door. You've taken their gum. You have taken their Gatorade, but you sure as hell haven't taken their gumption away from them. The member will withdraw. Um, in the video, our future student choice in Ontario, a student damns this government. He says, and I quote, they may want to listen to this. He said, we are told what to do. This is not the Ontario... I, uh... Carry on. The student says, and I quote, we are told what to do. This is not the Ontario that I grew up in. This is not the Ontario I believe in. Minister, the social media generation believes you have lost touch. Question. You are taking away their personal choice and their personal responsibility. That's not Ontario's way. It's a hash can fail. Will you listen to the students and will you make sure that they are Minister. You see it, please. You see it, please. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. I uh, I want to take a moment to uh, thank you. Order, please. I want to take a moment to thank those members who have decided to sit there peacefully and not interject the way it's been happening in the last little bit. And I don't need any other interjections when I get, get quiet. Complete. Thank you, Speaker. This is the Legislature of Ontario. A member and this from isn't a Northumberland, joke, Quinty Research West tells us that 
Healthy food is important for students' learning. At the heart of everything that we do in Ontario's education system is making sure that our students can learn and grow. Speaker, I'm not going to take lessons from the PC party about what our priorities should be in education. They fired teachers. They had dis a total disregard for what our students needed to achieve. When we took office, Speaker, only 68 percent of our students were achieving, and now our results are 82 percent. Speaker, we are doing something right in our schools. We need to make healthy choices, the right choices. We need to make sure that our kids can learn.